In this video, we're going to go over how to create a rough cut in Avid Media Composer 6. I have three clips in my bin. I will go ahead and double click on a clip so it can open up in the source monitor. And there it is. In the source monitor, underneath it, is the playhead, which is indicated by a blue line. And I can select on that and scrub through my video. Hey, anyway, I wish to play this, I can select the space bar. I can select the letter L on my keyboard. I can select the letter K on my keyboard to stop. If I wish to go rewind or go backwards, I'll select on the letter J on my keyboard and it will play backwards. If I find a point of interest where I like to start my video, and I'll go to a point where just before this vehicle comes in, I can select the letter I to make an endpoint. If I wish to go frame by frame, I can use my left and right arrow keys to go frame by frame. So let's say I change my mind, I want to start here before the vehicle comes into view and press the letter I and that will be my endpoint. A visual indication of this endpoint also is this location here or this teeth mark here on the left hand side of my source monitor. That's telling me that that is my endpoint. I'll select the space bar to play and I went to the second vehicle goes out of the picture and I'll select that to be my out point. Now if I'm ready to go ahead and edit this into my timeline, I will go ahead and select the letter B on my keyboard to go ahead and make an overwrite or I can take this clip and click on it and hold or left click and drag it down into the timeline. So either way you can go ahead and create an edit. So I go ahead and press the letter B on my keyboard and I created a sequence with that. You will notice that in the bin a new sequence has been created and it's called Untitled Sequence. Also on top of the timeline it says Timeline Untitled Sequence as well. I am going to rename that. So Untitled Sequence I'll select on the name itself and I will name that Project 1. Now if I wish to label that to differentiate this sequence from the rest of the clips, I will go ahead and right click on this icon to the left of my sequence icon and I'll select on the color right there. And now it's labeled red. So this is just for organizational purposes, or so if I just want to differentiate um, different elements of my project. Going back to my timeline, you will see that my playhead now is at the end of this edited clip. To get around the sequence, the same as it was in the source monitor, I can select the letter J to play to rewind. So I will select on the timeline and press J to go back, press L to go forward, press K to stop. You can also go frame by frame by using the left and right arrow keys. And I can also, as I mentioned before, just select the playhead and just scrub through the shot. So, press the letter L, it plays to the end, it'll stop. You will see that this here moves along with the timeline here. 
this is your record monitor you also have buttons on the bottom of that record monitor which is the play button you have the mark out mark in go to out point go to in point Now to go for my next edit, I'll go ahead and select in my bin. I'll go ahead and double click on the next clip. And again, I can scrub through here and select a portion of my video. So I'll select an in point here and select an out point there. If I wanted to loop around that area, option six will go ahead and loop around my selection. Now in case you're wondering what the amount of time between this is, you can see up here where it says center duration, four seconds. So this should be four seconds. If I select here in between, roughly in between, and select the letter O, you will see now that the duration of this selection is two seconds and two frames. I'll go ahead and edit that section into my timeline. Again, my playhead is at the end of this clip. I'm going to go ahead and edit this portion by selecting letter B. And now I have two clips inside my sequence. Now here in the sequence, on the left hand side, we have V1 for one video track and A1 and A2 for audio tracks. Now we have no audio with these clips so that being the reason why this is grayed out and only this portion is being selected or seen highlighted. If I wish to make the track height taller I can select the command key and the letter L and any thing that's selected will get larger. Command K to make it smaller. If you only wish to have just the video tracks get taller or bigger, deselect the A1, A2 tracks or any audio tracks that you may have and then select the command and the letter L and only those that are remaining selected will get affected. I'll go ahead and turn this off as well. So only the video track will become larger or taller. Getting back to our sequence, I'll select my third clip and now I have another selection to make. So I'll go ahead and scrub to a point, select the letter I, and again, an out point, make this roughly four seconds, and the letter O. And again, making sure that my playhead is either at the end, if I wish to put it at the end of the sequence, or if I want to put it in between these two clips to make an insert, I could put my playhead in between. A media composer, if you wish to snap to an edit point, hold the command key and then drag your playhead or selecting your playhead and it will automatically snap in between the two clips, which is your edit point. Now I selected this edit point because I want to do an insert edit. To do an insert edit, you will select the letter V as in Victor. And you will see that that clip has been 
insert it between the surrounding clips or the two clips that I had in the timeline before. So if I were to press my home key and go to the beginning of my sequence and press the space bar to play, I should see my first clip with the third clip followed by the second clip. So I have these three clips and that's my rough cut so far. If I change my mind and I want to switch things around or if I want to add additional tracks on the left hand side of your sequence you will see your tool palette here and these are your smart tools so you see a segment mode left over right extract or splice in depending on which type of operation you wish to create I will select on the segment mode button I will select on the second clip and move it to the right or the left of my clip. Once I do that I have overwritten over a clip and I have also left a gap in between. I will undo that by pressing the command key and the letter Z and I'll select on this button here the segment mode where it will splice in and instead I will select this clip and bring it to the beginning of my timeline I'll select the command key if I want to snap it to the beginning and then I'll let go when I do that it went ahead and took the clip moved it to the beginning and the one that was at the beginning was moved to the right without leaving a gap that's the difference between these two buttons in your smart tool palette here and that's how you create a rough cut in Avid Media Composer 6 this is Lewis here for Chesapeake Systems